EA added 70 new formations and over 500 new plays to Madden 24. So today we're going over the top 20 most overpowered new plays, as well as how you can use them in your scheme to win more games. At number 20, this play is excellent against both man and zone coverage. The play is H choice in the new formation gun split Y off. And against zone coverage, the only adjustment is to put your receiver on the tight end side on a streak. This will build a simple flood concept, allowing you to easily attack the sideline by hitting the corner route from the tight end. And against man coverage, look for your running back on the option route, which should get excellent separation against a linebacker. Or you can look at your receiver on the C route, and once he makes his break, just pass lead him outside for the easy completion. At number 19, this run play is perfect for players who want to take full advantage of a mobile quarterback. The play is Bears QB sweep in the new formation gun bunch strong offset, and after the snap, both the tackle and the tight end will kick out to serve as lead blockers to the outside. Sometimes a running lane will open up and allow you to take the run inside, but most of the time, the best strategy is to lay off the sprint button and let your players make their blocks before bouncing it outside where there should be a ton of open space. At number 18, this play will absolutely destroy your opponent's zone coverage. The play is PA Pylon Sale in the new formation I form Y off close, and the only adjustments are to motion out the wide receiver on the tight end side and put him on a streak. This builds an easy flood concept, and if your opponent leaves the fullback open on the flat route, then go ahead and take your easy yards every time. If your opponent uses the corner route, then you can always come back to the deep in route over the middle, but most of the time, the tight end corner route will be your money route, which you can hit for some massive gains along the sideline. At number 17, this RPO might be considered by some players to be a glitch play. The play is RPO read flat in the new formation gun you off trips, and just like with all RPO reads, the first part of this play is simply reading the behavior of the read key. If the read key crashes in after the snap, then don't press anything to keep the ball with your quarterback, while if the read key stays home, then hold A on Xbox or X on PlayStation to hand the ball off to your running back. Now when it comes to passing the ball, something that seems extremely powerful is motioning out the tight end on the wheel route, and if the outside cornerback has the P icon over his head to show that he's the pass key, then sometimes the wheel route is left completely open down the sideline. Another option is to motion across the other tight end who's on the flat route, and then zip it out to him in the flat for some easy high percentage yards. At number 16, this play allows you to attack zone coverage on every part of the field. The play is cross flood in the formation gun tray Y flex, and one of the easiest route combos is to put the tight end on a streak which will clear out space for the crosser to get wide open. Another route combo is to put your inside receiver on a drag which will pull the linebackers down and allow you to hit the tight end crosser on the other side of the field. And if the tight end crosser is getting a little too deep, then just put him on a slant and once he clears the linebackers, you can laser it to him across the field for an easy completion. At number 15, this new pass play features one of the most unique routes in the entire game. The play is red zone up in the new formation gun empty trip speed and the only adjustment is to put your outside trips receiver on a streak. If your opponent is playing any type of zone coverage, then the streak will clear out space for the corner route to get wide open along the sidelines. If your opponent is running a lot of cover too, you can motion over the middle receiver and put him on a streak and that will pull the safety inside enough that you can hit your receiver on the fade route for another super easy completion. And against cover four, this in and up route will split the safeties so as long as you pass lead the ball into the open space, then you can get some huge gains over the deep middle. At number 14, this is a brand new type of RPO bubble screen. The play is RPO alert screen in the new formation gun bunch strong offset, and this RPO bubble is unique because it's actually the outside receiver who's on the bubble screen. Just like with all RPO alerts, after the snap, if you don't like the throw to the bubble screen, then don't press anything, and the ball will automatically be handed off to your running back, which can result in some really solid gains. But as long as the outside cornerback isn't guarding the hard flat, you can usually make the throw to the bubble screen and then just follow your blocks to rack up yards down the sideline. At number 13, this play is perfect for players who want to pound the rock and have an athletic quarterback. The play is read option in the new formation pistol east tight, and before the snap, I prefer to motion out the blocker lined up just behind the tight end. After the snap, you just have to read the read key defender, and if he crashes inside, then don't press anything to keep it with your quarterback and take off into the open 
open space in front of you. And if the read key defender stays home, just hold A on Xbox or X on PlayStation to hand the ball off to your running back and rumble ahead up the middle. At number 12, this play is perfectly designed to take the top off the defense. The play is post wheel shallow in the new formation Gun Bunch X Nasty, and the only adjustments to bomb cover three are to put your middle bunch receiver on a streak, block your running back, and motion out your solo receiver and put him on a comeback route. After the snap, the comeback route will hold down the cornerback in the outside third, and it'll leave your receiver on the post completely unguarded for the easy one play touchdown. At number 11, this play is guaranteed to catch your opponents by surprise. The play is flanker drive in the new formation weak H close off, and the only adjustment is to put your solo receiver on a streak. When you press the hike button, your fullback will go in auto motion across the formation, and once the ball is snapped, he'll go out on this wheel route that completely torches man coverage. And against zone coverage, you just have to read the high low of the drag underneath or the crosser over the top, which should be wide open because the streak is going to clear out a ton of open space. At number 10, this play creates a massive wall of lead blockers for you to run behind. The play is pin pull toss in the new formation gun bunch strong nasty, and after the snap, both the center and tackle on the running back side will kick out to clear out defenders in front of you. Players who are patient enough to let their big guys get some momentum will be rewarded with huge gains, but don't forget to keep your eyes open and look for opportunities to cut the run back to the inside. At number 9, this is the ultimate play for anyone who loves Smash Mouth football. The play is triple option in the new formation Pistol Full House Close, and one of the best parts about this play is that because it's a symmetrical formation, you can flip the play without any of your players moving. Before the snap, make sure you identify the read key and pitch key defenders. If the read key stays outside after the snap, then hold A on Xbox or X on PlayStation to hand the ball off to your running back. If the read key crashes in, then don't press anything to keep it with your quarterback, and then read the pitch key. If the pitch key stays outside, keep the ball with your quarterback and make sure you get out of bounds or slide before you get hit. And if the pitch key commits to the quarterback, just press LB or L1 to pitch the ball out to your running back, who should have a ton of open space to pick up massive gains on the outside. At number 8, this play is extremely powerful at attacking both man and zone coverage. The play is under in the formation single back tight doubles, and the adjustments are to put your wide receiver on the tight end side on a streak and put your tight end on a drag. Against man coverage, the crosser will usually beat his defender as he comes across the field, and against zone coverage, you can check down to either of the drags coming across the middle, or if you have time to throw, wait for the crosser to get get across the field and hit him on the opposite sideline. At number 7, this RPO is guaranteed to make your opponents rage. The play is Saints Power RPO in the new formation Gun Empty Triple Stack, and before the snap, you want to count the number of defenders lined up across from your triple stack of receivers. If you have a numbers advantage on the outside, then after the snap, immediately throw to the screen and just follow your blocks for some massive gains down the field. And if you don't have a numbers advantage, then just keep the ball with your quarterback and rumble ahead up the middle. At number 6, this might be the best under center pass play in the entire game. The play is bingo cross in the new formation single back tight doubles, and the only adjustment to bomb cover 3 is to put your slot receiver on a streak. This route combo takes a few seconds to develop, so stand tall in the pocket or roll out if you need more time, and then you can launch it to your outside receiver on the deep post for the massive one play touchdown. At number 5, this might be the best new under center run play in the game. The play is power O in the new formation weak H close off, and when you press the hike button, your fullback will automatically motion across the formation to serve as a lead blocker. After the snap, you just have to stay patient and don't press the sprint button until you find your running lane, and if you do that, then you should be walking into the end zone with ease. At number 4, this play gives you endless ways to attack zone coverage. The play is smash Y dig in the new formation gun split twin stack, and if you just motion out the outside receiver and put him on a streak, then you can easily hit the corner route for huge gains along the sideline. Or if you don't want
want to make any adjustments, just look for your fullback on the C route out of the backfield and hit him right as he breaks inside for easy yards over the middle. And if the linebacker comes down to guard the fullback, then just hit your tight end on the deep in route over the middle. At number three, this option play is one of the most fun plays in the entire game. The play is speed option in the formation pistol bunch tight end, and you can flip this play to either side by just pointing your right stick in the direction you want to run it. Before the snap, make sure you identify the pitch key, and if the pitch key crashes in after the snap, then press LB or L1 to pitch the ball to your running back, and you should have a ton of open space to the outside. And if the pitch key gets caught up in traffic or goes after the running back, then keep the ball with your quarterback and look for a chance to cut it back inside for some awesome highlight reel plays. At number two, this play is perfect for all of the pure passers out there. The play is drive wide corner in the new formation gun empty bunch open, and you could run this play completely stock. The first read is the drag underneath, which you should take every time if your opponent is leaving it open. Once your opponent starts bringing defenders down to take away the drag, that's when you can start throwing to the deep in route in the second level. In addition to those routes, on the left side, you have this incredibly powerful post-wheel route combo. If the defense leaves the post open, then you can go ahead and laser it to him as he breaks inside, or if the post pulls the defense inside with him, then you can hit the wheel route for some ridiculous gains down the sideline. At number one, this is the easiest new coverage bomb in the entire game. The play is switch wide receiver drag in the new formation gun doubles hip, and the only adjustment is to put your tight end on a streak, but you can also block your running back if you need more protection. After the snap, stand tall in the pocket or roll out to buy yourself some extra time, and then set your feet and launch it downfield to your outside receiver on the post for the enormous one play touchdown. And if you guys are looking for more ways to improve your Madden game, I just posted my free gun bunch offset ebook and a free video on the six ways to beat man coverage over on my brand new Madden tip website, playbookprofessor.gg. The link is in the description below, and I can't wait to see you over there.